here we are. As you can see, uh, the pair has been trading range routes and how it is, has managed to stabilize around 22. Uh, 2330 is still a, a huge uh, ceiling, right? We have met selling interest in ever, there ever since the pair plummet three or four, three weeks ago, right? Remember a while, a while Thursday when the pair lost uh, yeah, thousands of pips in. <laughs> in some brokers and a uh, bunch of hundreds in others. But anyway, still discussing whether it was an algo, uh, a foot finger, or whatever. The fact is that my low for uh, October 7 stands at 1964. So I play, play, place a uh, Fibonacci retracement in between this high and that low. And uh, I found out that it's uh, 23.6% uh, retracements, it's around 23.10, 23.30 is the highest. So as long as uh, 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 below that area for me, the risk remains there was downside. Anyway, what I'm trying to say here is that the pair is neutral. We have no trend. The 20 simple moving average, it's flat. Price is moving back and forth around it, finding no direction. Indicators also lack directional strength not having too much of a view in here. I still believe that the risk is the worst downside. I still believe that spikes higher opportunities to sell. We have the Fed, we have the Bank of England. We may have some have a wild ride during the upcoming 48 hours. But remember uh, that after that settle, the market will pre probably prefer to sell the pound. Anyway, if we somehow fall back below 22, uh, we have several lows in between 21.30 and 21.50. So that's the probable bearish target for today. Below that is 20.82, which is last week low, yeah. And below that, I'm not seeing much away towards 120, right? 80 clean pips.